Good morning, folks. We're going to be getting some eye candy today from the James Webb Space Telescope. We'll see a heart-wrenching story that may once again point to an impact of the changing magnetic field. And of course, we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. One small M-class solar flare, no significant eruptive activity. You can see at the departing sunspots there is crackling and at least two failed eruptions. These big sunspots have really underperformed on their run across the Earth-facing side of the sun. Let's take a peek at that here. Smaller spots pepper the disk, but focus has been on the big grouping heading to the right. It's produced several M-class flares, but none released CMEs. The sunspot group is now about to turn out of view to the far side. On the northern hemisphere, things are dominated by coronal holes. The one on the right there may have its solar wind impactor of tonight. Hopefully it will be minor. And then top left, we have the next one turning in, maybe too far north to impact the Earth. Let's go to our eye candy where James Webb has snapped the best shot ever of the penguin and the egg. Easy to see why it took that name. These galaxies paint an incredible picture on the sky in one of Webb's cameras, the mid-infrared viewer took what immediately jumps into my top 10 coolest space photos. About as cool as it gets there. Top story is the mass stranding in the UK. Dozens of whales went awry and got beached quite high on the sand. It's one of the worst in recent memory, and folks, these whales use the Earth's magnetic field to navigate. Pretty hard to see this, and not wonder about their internal compasses getting messed up. Either way, hate to see it. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.35 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.